Let's solve question 13 now. So what do we have here? The store is in financial stress, so it want to cut. Uh, it wants to cut costs. Okay, so the owner wants to reduce the salary that he pays to the employees in exchange for free coffee. Now the owner can reduce the salary by at most nine euros without making the employees worse off. Okay, so what we want to know in which case would be the utility of the employees with the free coffee. So we will have here free coffee the same as the utility of not having free coffee so no free coffee now what we know is that under the utility of having free coffee the uh, the employees would consume five coffees we found it in the previous video let me just zoom out to have to have the big picture in our mind so that we can see everything like that over here in question uh, in the previous question question 12 we saw that when consumers when the employees consume free coffee they would consume five cans, five cups. But when they consume coffee by paying for it, so over here when the coffee is not free, we found that they would consume four cups. So we have to keep this in mind. Now, what would be the utility? So if the utility of the employees is when they uh, have free coffee, well, if it is free coffee, then the deal is that they would have a reduction in salary. So the utility would be their salary minus a certain reduction, right? They would have a reduction in salary. Let's call that minus X. And then we keep writing the utility as it is, minus five minus F to the power of two. Now this would be the utility with free coffee. What would be the utility of having no free coffee? Let's write it over here. Well, that would be S minus two F. That is the wage, right? That is the wage. That is the wage. Let's just check it over here. The utility of no free coffee, S minus two F, and then minus five minus F to the power of two. So we write that as well, minus five, minus five minus F to the power of two. Now we can substitute some values because we know the amount of coffee that the employees consume when it is free. So that was five. And here the amount of coffee would be four cups per day. So let's substitute these values and see what we get. We would have the following. We would have here S minus X. So minus X, uh, let me just change colors real quick, minus X. And then minus 5 minus 4 to the power of 2, minus 5 minus, sorry, 5 minus 5 to the power of 2, because they would consume 5 cups of coffee for free. And over there, what we would have is S minus, S minus 2 multiplied with 4 cups of coffee, so 2 times 4, minus 5 minus 4 to the power of 2. Now, what, what is that going to be? Let's see. Here we have S minus X, so minus X minus x this one is 5 minus 5 0 to the power of 2 is just 0 so we don't need to write it and here we would have s minus 8 s minus 8 and then minus 5 minus 4 to the power of 2 that's 1 to the power of 2 minus 1 what we can see is that the reduction the reduction in salary this one minus x is equal to minus 8 minus 1 and that is minus 9 so indeed the reduction in salary would be equal to 9 euros by keeping the utility equal between having free coffee and not having free coffee so 9 euro reduction salary in exchange for free coffee and the answer here is true and we are done